We are the dreamers of dreams. assignments to hand in and a lab to work on so instead of doing like a two times speed footage of me finishing my workup i figured i'd just add some clips and then see you guys tomorrow so that i don't use too much memory space since i have the rest of the week to film sleep deprived I look sleep deprived but I don't completely feel sleep deprived so I'm gonna take advantage of that feeling get some work done before my 10:15 lecture I have an organic chemistry lecture this class mostly has pre-recorded lectures so um, the live lecture is mostly just for consultation and like basically just clarity and I appreciate that because the, the professor for this course works really hard to give us like multiple resources so I really appreciate that. My coffee. This morning I had a philosophy lecture which I basically watched the lecture in bed I am not even joking I was lying on my bed philosophy lecture on my other pillow yeah that was rough it was really hard to wake up today is pretty gloomy it's a rainy day I had a biology lecture as I've said in my first year university experience I have a pretty flexible work schedule so I'm just gonna fit it in right in between so I'm about to do a dry lab right now Usually we go to campus for wet labs and then stay home for dry labs and we just do it with a TA and it's sort of like just imagine you were doing the lab. Here are the results. <laughs> I'm going to do that in about 15 minutes then I'm going to go to work and I'm going to come back and have a 6 p.m. lecture that is going to go all the way till 9 p.m. I'm glad that I'm going to get to step out today because yesterday as you saw I spent the whole day at my desk. That's like that's that's just how it is. That's the realness of like the situation of online school you can possibly spend the whole day at your desk with your back aching and everything purposefully like intentionally get up and walk around and remind yourself to eat stuff like that it's really beautiful outside i really love autumn fall whatever you want to call it i get some footage of like the foliage to make this vlog a little bit prettier disgraceful right now but we're gonna glow up soon because we have to step out the house again to go to work it was again very hard to wake up this morning let's just say i fell asleep with my lecture on my pillow next to me and i ended up staying off the class for office hours without knowing 
next thing I know, the lecturer is like saying my name, asking if I have any questions, and I'm like, oh my god, waking up like, no, I don't. Bye. <laughs> Yeah, it's just really tough. I slept like at 4 a.m. yesterday. I'm not gonna do that again. Like, I'm seriously needing to get a grip on my time management so that I don't work too late at night. Like, sorry for all the noise. Literally, this is every day in this city, but I need to like come to grips with the fact that like tomorrow is a new day and I could just wake up early and do my work. But the problem is I'm a night owl and not a morning person. I'm literally seriously not a morning person. I find it easier to work late at night than in the mornings, but then I cannot function the next day. So I need to get a grip on that. I feel kind of bad for having cake for breakfast, but it was the final piece from my mom's birthday and I just felt like it needed to be finished. Granted, I'm having breakfast at 12. So guys, I picked this Betty Crocker cake mix up yesterday. It's a rainbow bit one. I've got the French vanilla icing. And I just need to get some sprinkles and I'm going to make this either tonight or tomorrow night. I forgot to put in the description box of my fall vlog that I used the Betty Crocker spice cake mix. I'm just in a very baking mood lately. For the longest time, my speciality in like the butt world, I don't know how to say it in English, but was like pancakes. I used to make pancakes and I got like, I was the worst pancake maker and I got like really good at it. And now... I'm venturing into cakes. Granted, they're pre-mixed, but it's still something. It's still a start. So I'm reading this book, right? And I've been reading it for the past year or so, mind you. It's so small too, so there's no reason for me to be taking this long. But the thing is, it's a self-help book and it's really disrespectful. I'll tell you why it's disrespectful. It really tells you about yourself and you have to be in the right frame of mind to receive that. Like, I don't want to read it just to read it find out all these gems and never actually integrate them into my life so I have to be in a very specific state of mind before I read it and that doesn't happen very often because I'm always so overwhelmed with everything that's going on I'm gonna give it another shot because I could really use some reading as in the book reading me implementing some disciplinary strategies self-discipline to make things work in these trying times I'm really sad because once this tree loses its leaves, that's when I know winter is on its way and I'm not ready. So this was my to-do list when I got back and I sadly concluded that the baking would be left for Friday, which worked out anyways, so. I love how you can see me progressively dying inside in this vlog. Okay guys, I have been replenished. I just had a faith study and it's always such a refreshing time of the week like it's perfect that i have mine on friday morning too because just when you guys saw me this morning i look like a zombie but just when you're like tired and busted it's just like a great pick me up the people in my faith study are great shout out to you guys for always making me think more about stuff and like shedding light on things that i may not understand and just sharing our time together plan for today a lecture, work, and then carrying on my to-do list from yesterday. I'm filming a fashion reel and this is just like the behind the scenes. I wanted it to be denim on denim outfit. And I just think fashion reels are just so cute and like anyone can do them and have fun with them. This turtleneck was gifted to me from my mom and it's got like these really cute ruffles on the shoulder. I'm just trying different silhouettes, different like things out with my clothing and then the denim on denim is known to be like a statement look. I'm still deciding if I want this thinner chain or this. It's still pretty thin but it's more like of a statement chain because the outfit is so simple. I think I'm going to go with this one. I'm not sure about this but I wanted to feature this bag too because I think it's pretty cute like the ruffles here and then the bag is going to be like the feminine touch. And then the denim on denim and like the gold jewelry is going to be the 
more edgy side. So I went out to buy sprinkles because I realized I didn't have any and I wanted to decorate the cake as best as I could. I think I'm going to make it a tradition that at the end of every like vlog type video, I'm going to make a cake. Don't quote me. here that's been a week in my life in online classes i hope you guys enjoyed this video please don't forget to leave a like comment down below any thoughts you may have had throughout the video and how you're doing during online school uh, subscribe to my channel for more school content and i also make other content so just check that out i'll see you in the next video